joined by junior Ben Sievert uh, from Frankenmuth, Michigan. We're previewing the uh, national championship meet on Saturday, which will take place in Lawrence, Kansas. Let's talk first about your race at the, the GPAC championships. Uh, you finished third, uh, and from what Coach Einsbar talked about it, you took uh, kind of an aggressive approach to try to win the race. Uh, talk about what that approach was and kind of how things shook out at the, the GPAC meet. Yeah, well, normally at the conference meets, it's a pretty slow pace the first half of the race. We'll start out normally 10, 20 seconds slower than our normal first mile will be. And it's a lot more of a tactical, just kind of finding position. And when I've done that the past couple of years, the guys just kind of smoked me the last mile once it turned into like a foot speed race and kind of a kick at the end. So coach and I talked a lot about it on the night before, and we just kind of decided that it might be better to take a chance and get out hard and just push the pace and make some guys uncomfortable. And it definitely did that. If you look at the pack, I mean, already by a mile, it was really strung out, but just it, it was going well. I think I ran, I tried to put in too many little bursts in the middle of the race. I think that's what ultimately cost me was it kind of shot my legs a little more than I would have hoped. And those guys, uh, Garrett and Johnny Rutford from Nebraska Wesleyan and Garrett, the Morningside champion, they both just kind of ran behind me and conserved a lot more energy than I did. And so when it came down to that last 1,200 meters, they just took off and I couldn't go with them. But, you know, it was just a risk that Coach and I thought it would be good to take. And, I mean, it's disappointing, but still it was how it happened. So I just got to be thankful for that. I know the, the team was hoping to win uh, a back-to-back -back, uh, GPAC championship, but you get the at-large bid into Nationals. Uh, how much pride does the team take in sort of upholding that tradition uh, of strong cross-country here now, uh, 12 trips to Nationals in the last 13 years? Yeah, I think, I think it really means a lot to us. Sometimes I don't think we realize it as freshmen or sophomores, but the older we get, I mean, I'm a junior now, and it's kind of starting to hit in, like just what Coach Einspar has been able to do here and just how great of a coach he really is and how he doesn't think about it like each season. He thinks about it as like you're a four-year runner here, and he trains you accordingly for that. And so, I mean, obviously we really wanted to win that conference championship, and going into it we had the mindset of if we didn't win, we weren't going to get the at-large bid, and we weren't going to get the wild card bid either. So in order to get that, it was really just it was just a sense of relief for us that we were able to uphold that tradition and just be able to make it again. That looks like the temperature is going to be pretty chilly again this Saturday. Uh, running in the cold is certainly nothing new for, for teams in this area. How much of an advantage is that compared to teams from other parts, uh, warmer parts of the country? Um, I think it'll be a little advantage. I mean, obviously we're a lot more used to it than some of the Florida teams, Oklahoma, Texas, those guys, and out west where they're more just moderate coastal. But I think at nationals it's kind of just anything can happen. You know, a lot of adrenaline is flowing, and once you get into that race, it's kind of just anyone's race. So I think it might play out a little bit, but I wouldn't get too excited about it being cold for us. Now you had the, the chance to run this course earlier in the season. Uh... What are some of the, the major characteristics that you notice, uh, things that might be different or similar about it to other places you've run at? It's just it's a really cool place. It's a true cross-country course. This guy just bought a bunch of land and converted it solely for a cross-country course. So he did a lot of just cool things with it. There's a lot of steep uphills and downhills. We run through some cool wooded trails and across wooden bridges. So it's just a really neat scenic course. It was fun to just run it the day before the meet and just kind of look at everything. But it's really similar to Pioneer Park and kind of our course, just in the hilly, and it's kind of got that bumpy landscape and a lot of ups and downs here and there. So I think that will definitely play out in our favor that we've ran it before and we kind of know the course and know where all the hills are and just that you can't just start out killer at this meet because the hills are going to kill you eventually. So you got to be more just smarter running it than a flat course. Talk, talk about what the team has been doing to get ready since the GPAC meet. Uh, are you doing anything differently than you would uh, in preseason or right in the middle of the season? Uh, you, our mileage has toned down a lot. Now is kind of the taper portion of our season and we've probably dropped almost 30 miles a week. When we were in preseason and midseason we were hitting about 70 miles every week. And now I think last week we only hit about 45. 
So it's a lot more just easy, shorter runs and fast workouts on the track. We'll be doing a lot of short, fast workouts and just kind of speed things that keep our legs under us because about two weeks before, the, these workouts aren't really going to help us a lot or increase our speed too much. It's just going to keep our legs under us now from here on out and keep us fresh. So that's just really the main thing. How much does running at the, the national championships feel different uh, than a regular meet? You got a chance to run at last year's championships. Uh, you feel more pressure? Um, I think, yeah, going into it the morning of, you feel it's just there's always just this sense of nervousness around the team and just everyone and a lot of the hotels have multiple teams staying there and it's just really quiet at the continental breakfast and stuff and guys are just a lot more focused i think going in but then once you get to the course it feels just like a normal meet you know you go through your pre-race routine that never changes regardless of what meet it is and just running the course as soon as that gun shot you don't care what meet it is you're just going to go hard and so at the national meet, once that gun's fired, it's just go out and run as fast as you can and pray that's, that's good enough. Uh, last year you finished just outside the top 50 at the national championships. I imagine you're, you're looking to improve upon that. What are your goals on an individual level? I would really like to be the top 30 for All-American this year. Looking at it, I think, I think if I just run well and keep my focus on the things that matter, I think that's a good possibility this season I just I kind of changed my mindset a lot this year it used to be just running for the win and just trying to just put so much pressure on myself and now I've kind of just refocused and realized that I'm running more for God and just for him and not as much on myself and that just really helps relax and now just the mindset going in is just I run as fast as I can and however however it works out it works out so I obviously really want to get all American and if I do I'd just be ecstatic and if not it's just cool to make it with the team and just be able to run and have that experience last thing how about team wise uh, what kind of things do you talk about what you want to accomplish as a team i think we would really like to be top 12 top 15 teams around there i think we have a good shot we ran really well early mid-season and i wouldn't say we started running worse but a lot of teams started catching up to where we were at and we dropped a lot in the rankings and i don't think our ranking is an indicator of how great our team is I think if we can come together and click, we shouldn't have a problem being top 15. So that, I think that's our team goal is just to do that. But most importantly, it's just to go out there and have a great experience and just run to glorify God.